Hi friends. <laughs> I did something crazy. I bought two palettes. Two, 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 two. So the difference in buying these kind of palettes that aren't from a typical like online auction is that you have to pick them up yourself. So <laughs> I'm going to attempt to fit two full palettes into my minivan. I have taken out the seats. I have brought all of my plastic bins and you guys get to see me fill up my van with two pallets worth of items. Let me show you guys like a quick peek of what's in here. Okay, we've got some Allbirds. We've got some Frozen shoes. We've got some CW Classics. Who knows what that is? Some Steve Madden. We've got some Milwaukee motorcycle boots. Ooh, check those out. Dang. We've got a big giant coat. Maybe this is Steve Madden. I have no idea. Some Princess Polly, which I heard is pretty popular right now. We've got some LuLaRoe. Oh, I'm so excited. And quite a few other things. Some body jewelry. Anybody want some body jewelry? Um, this purse here, which I don't know if it's authentic. If it is, then that could be worth a pretty penny, but I don't know. It looks like there's a little flaw right here. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys what I've got and this process of me putting it in my car. So, hope you have fun watching. Okay, palette number one. I've got all of my bins arranged. I've got my empty car. I've got my trusty little step ladder. That will come in very handy. And here we go. Okay, I've got three bins, two bags of shoes, filling up a bag of shoes, one full bin here, some that I have to kind of mash down here. And I'm almost to the bottom. Still some vans down here, some Wilfred, Wilfred Free, I can see a tag some kind of random brands like Shein and stuff like that in here also, but there's some good stuff. I see something that says $110 right there. Not sure what that is yet, but almost done with this one. Oh my gosh, how cute are these vans? These are like the cutest. Oh, it's a classic checkered. Okay, we're halfway through, and I really hope I have enough room in my van. Um, I've got that much space, and I've got one empty pallet, and then we've got shoes, and more shoes, and more shoes, and more shoes. So I'm going to go get my second pallet. Okay, we are on pallet number two. I am already exhausted. This is so much work, you guys. <sighs> yes, it's a ton of inventory, but it is like, oh, it's hard work. <laughs> anyway, um, give you guys a little peek of what I've seen in here. We've got some like randoms. I have no idea what this is. There's some Shein swimsuits, um, more Shein, some, what is this? Dry fit, Nike dry fit. It looks like a team type jersey. Um, and then we've got some Fashion Nova. I've got a lot of ASOS in this one, which I got a lot of ASOS in my last one about six months ago. And they sell pretty well. So these look like kids' jeans. It doesn't say what kind they are. So probably just like a knockoff brand. I don't have a whole lot of hopes for this one. Here's some Nine West. But I will take what I can get. Here is an Our House Alpaca, $249. So, fingers crossed there's like multiple of that in here. But, there you go, there's your little update. Okay, I am exhausted. Um, I am so tired. I'm just walking out of my car and I'll show you what I got, what my car looks like. Got a little bit of trash there. 
So, this is my van. <laughs> um, holy cow, you guys. Two pallets fit into a van. All right, now let's go home and sort it. Hi, friends. <clears throat> this is um some new hair I'm working with <laughs> lately, but, and it's not really, it's not really at its best right now. But anyway, um, I am just taking a little bit of a break because I am exhausted. I'm tired. I have gone through so much inventory. I'm going to flip you guys around and show you what I've been doing. I have the TV watching Netflix and some YouTube channels, and I am just going through inventory. So here, I'm going to flip you guys around so you can see what is happening over here. Okay, so we've got bins and bins and bags and bins and more bins and more bags. And yeah, it's just a lot of crazy chaos right now. But most of this I have gone through. It is organized chaos at this moment. The majority of what I have finished is over here. This is our basement. And this section from here across to here is my office. Pretty much where this rug starts and covers the rest of the room is all like the playroom, TV, downstairs TV room area. So I have just completely taken over that whole entire part of this downstairs. But this right here is a bag of items that are not worth me trying to list and resell. So those are going to go to a buy, sell, trade store, probably drop them at um, like Uptown Cheapskate or Plato's Closet. And then anything that doesn't sell, I'm going to send in a thread up because it's kind of my like last resort. Anything I don't want back, I don't want to think about, but I want to get a few cents out of. And I've tried every other option other than listing them if they're just not worth it. Then I ultimately sent a thread up. So this one is going to go to buy, sell, trade first. These are going to go straight to thread up and they're not worth very much. They're just kind of like random off brands off. Oh, and these pants are supposed to be in this pile. <laughs> just kind of like random off brands. So I'll show you guys, for example, um, these are just a pair of like stretchy workout pants and they're brand new, but they just don't have any kind of brand. So hopefully like Uptown Cheapskate or Plato's Closet will take them. Even if it's for like a dollar or 75 cents, I don't care. That goes into my full cost of what I spent on my two palettes. This right here is a brand called Collusion that I need to, oh, and some random Zara socks. I think those are for my daughter. So I was gonna throw them over here in this file. <laughs> So this is a random brand called Collusion. It is sold at ASOS. So I kind of have a few ASOS things here. This is like when you get palettes and you get the most random items. So I'm moving these Collusion pieces. A giant bag of Ruthless hats by Field Grade. I've got another giant stack of Casey denim hats, another giant stack of Kansas City Royals, another Casey stack of hats there, another giant stack of Casey men's hats. I don't even know what I'm going to do with those yet. I'm kind of just throwing these off to the side. Maybe I'll list them on eBay or on Poshmark for like $10 a piece, see if I can get any of them sold. I'm going to consider this just probably like one cost of good for this whole thing because it's not worth individually pricing each one of these out. So that's just a little tangent I'm going on. Um, this bin here is ASOS. This bin here is also ASOS. This bin here is all Shein. This bin here is Gymshark, Sunita. There's some Lululemon in here. Let's see. This one is Fabletics. So there's some Fabletics in there. Um, <laughs> so as you can see, I just have stuff is absolutely everywhere. 
I've got shoes stacked up right here, more shoes stacked up here. These are bins of kids clothes that I still have to go through. These are more shoes. It's just a chaotic mess right now, but you guys, I'm getting through it. So I think my next update for you is going to be some of the like awesome things that I found and some of the not so awesome things that I found. So I will check back in with you guys again later. Hi friends. I am tired. I'm exhausted. Um, and I don't know what the heck's going on with my hair right now. I did get bangs. And so the last few days are just up and out of my face because I can't even deal right now. So I'm going through everything. I have tallied up all of the things that I'm going to be able to sell. There was quite a bit of, um, like knockoff brand type items um, that just didn't have any kind of brand name on them. And it's not like they were obvious knockoffs. It's not like they were, you know, Louis Vuitton looking Louis Vuitton bags. It was just like a lot of, um, wish.com <laughs> type items that, um, just aren't worth selling. And I'm going to, I'll show you guys really quickly. I'm just going to try and move slowly so that I don't make you guys sick because my office is pretty overwhelming and pretty cluttered right now. And there's my naked mannequin. So when I refer to like items that I'm not going to be able to sell, I'm talking about like random plasticky shoes like this. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of items in my palette that were like that. It was just some of them and they just aren't worth putting any time into. My neighbors and I are planning to have a garage sale. So I do have a big giant bin full of items that I'm going to immediately just put in the garage sale for probably a dollar a piece. And then I'm gonna go through <laughs> and show you guys each one of my bins and what I am hopefully going to be able to list and give myself a goal of when I should have all these things listed. I tallied up all of my items. I don't know if I already said that. I had about 600 sellable items and that brought, brought my cost of goods to about $3.50 per item. Some of these items were 100% worth $3.50 some of them were not. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys a, a like a rundown of all of my different organized bins and what is in each one. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, we've got some crazy organized chaos going on in my office right here. This is where I work. And yeah, this is just a lot going on. So this is a bin right here that I am currently working on. This is all full of ASOS, all brand new with tags. Most of them I'm going to list between about $25 and $50, depending on the item. Some of the jeans, like the wide leg um, mom jeans, high-waisted mom jeans, I'm going to list for about $50 because those retail for about $70 on the ASOS website. So just a little heads up about that. This bin is a giant bin full of hats. Most of them I'm going to list on eBay for about $10 to $15. There's a couple of gems in there that um, I can list for about $35 a piece. This is a brand called Ruthless. And yeah, just these like little Ruthless hats by, sorry, the brand is called Field Grass. Ugh, the brand is called Field Guide. <laughs> Field Grade, oh my gosh, my words are all mixed up right now. The brand is called Field Grade. And this is a ruthless hat. Looks like the Rugrats um, cartoon, but tons of hats. I don't know why I ended up with 50 Kansas City hats. So those are all going up on eBay. If I can make $5 a piece on those, I would be super happy. This is that bin of ASOS. This is a bin of Shein swimsuits. There are about 20 of them. I've already listed all of the swimsuits and I've sold about half of them. So my profit from those total ended up being about $60 total um, so far. I got about 12 of these BB Dakota mustard colored jersey dresses. I haven't looked at comps or anything for those, but probably list them around 20 to 25, depending on how saturated the market is for those. This is a big bin of items that I'm going to stick in the garage sale. It's kind of just like Fruit of the Loom t-shirts and some kids clothes. And I got about 20 pairs of these like kids jeans and they're really cute. They're in good condition. They've got some distressing. The only issue is that I got, like I said, like 20 pairs 
of extra large and can't really sell 20 pairs of extra large kids pants that are probably like a size five or six. This right here is a bin full of, or not bin, but a bag full of Gymshark, Fabletics, Adidas. This one here is again, another bag full of, there's some Lululemon in there. There is some, um, some more ASOS. And you guys, I am getting so overwhelmed with how much I have that I like, can't even remember what's in each one of these bit bags. But I do have them all like numbered here and listed and I know how many items are in each bag. These are all of the shoes. They are mostly all in their boxes. The boxes aren't all in great condition. Some of them are, some of them are not. But I got 50 pairs of shoes, um, a lot of Vans, which was nice. And these are all brand new not even tried on, some ASOS shoes, some Steve Madden, some Tevas, Dr. Scholl's, Brooks, some Adidas. Um, I think these are Steve Madden. What are you? Um, these are called Truffle. I have no idea what this brand is, but they're really cute. Kind of like a platform espadrille. These were probably sold at ASOS. Cross My Mind Faux, sorry, right there. <laughs> Cross My Mind Faux Leather Platform Sandal. Um, and I've never heard of this truffle so, brand, so. Then um, there's some Lacoste slides. These were pretty cool. I haven't ever heard of this Milwaukee leather, um, like, moto boots. But those are pretty awesome. I have no idea what they retail for. I haven't even looked up any of the shoes yet because I'm trying to get through most of this like summer and swim. But there is that box there. Okay, so then we're moving over to these. These are the men's clothes and the kids clothes and these two totes right here. And there are 55 items. So see, like I kind of put like little markers on each different bin to tell me how much is in each area, each bin. These are all accessories that I'm going to sell. There's some like underwear, there's bras, there's this cute little kid picks um, backpack. I'm probably just put that on like Facebook marketplace. There is a Kipling purse here. Um, and then if I shift this box out of the way, then I have here about 20 of this cropped cutoff refuge denim jacket and these retailed for $39.99 and I think when I look those up I can list them for about $25 a piece. This is a giant bag full of Sunita Athletics and these are all gray size large jogger pants uh, and there's probably 50 pairs of those. <laughs> So that is a very random big giant bag of Cine the Pants. Um, these are some um, sweatpant joggers. These are men's. These retail for about $190 and I've got six pair. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to release them for. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to list them for. I haven't looked up the comps for those. I just looked up to see if these were a brand worth keeping. And they are. These are also, these are called TGW. And these are like thermal base layer type shirts. I think these retail for about $40 a piece. And I think I have six of those in here. So this whole area right here is just repeats. So there's probably only about eight different individual items in this stack but everything there is a repeat. So that's nice. That makes listing really easy for me. And then I'm going to swing you guys around and hopefully not make you super sick because this is the other bag that I'm going to be working on next. And this one is full of, let's see, this brand called Richer Poorer. There is some um, Reformation in here. So this is like my bag that I want to get to next after I get through some Wilfred. There's some, so this is, <laughs> this is my number one bag. 
So this is what I want what I want to get to next after I finish up with this ASOS bag. So pretty much I have it all contained in a way I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm trying to get accomplished. And like I said, we've got organized chaos and hopefully I'll be able to get through all these items and it won't take me months and months because palette purchasing is really fun. It's just the listing part that's so difficult. Anyway, so this is where I'm going to leave you guys. I will put up right here again um, the price that I ended up paying for my cost of goods per item because I'm still kind of tallying up a few other items that are in the wash and things like that. So I will stick that number up here. Thanks you guys so much for watching. This was a big purchase. This is a lot of work and I still have a lot of work ahead of me. But uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this, if you would like for me to buy another palette so we can see what kind of treasures are in there, let me know. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thanks so much for watching you guys and wish me luck on this, <laughs> this huge mess that I got going on. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.